right, so we're here in my 145,000 mile uh, Model S 70D. Just charged it up to 100%. It ended up actually stopping charging at 99%. Um, I'll show you guys that. But I'm about to go out and do a range test and just see what the real world range is. I'm gonna do a big loop of the Phoenix metro area. And during this COVID-19 quarantine, I don't really have much else to do that's productive. So I figure why not go put some miles in my car and just enjoy the beautiful day. So here we can see the odometer, 145, 833. We'll probably cross over into 146 with this test. Um, there we're at 99%. Let me just switch it to miles here. So it's showing 216 at 99%. Um, and we are with an empty trip since we're starting on this charge. And yeah, let's go out there and see what happens. Just a little update here. Uh, so I've decided that 70 miles an hour is kind of the set speed that I'm going to be using for this test. So far over the last 30 miles, 270 watt hours per mile. Tires have warmed up to their 50 PSI roughly and we're down to 82% after 35.1 miles, 294 watt hours per mile for the entire drive so far, so quite efficient. <laughs> from 99% and we are 27.2 kilowatt hours in. Really efficient so far, 273 watt hours per mile in a 2015 Model S70D with 145, almost 146,000 miles. Uh, I do have the Model S aero wheels as such. So maybe they're improving the efficiency, maybe not, who knows. Um, it's also beautiful out at 72 degrees. I'm not sure what the wind is, but I don't think it's too substantial. And being that we're going all around the entire Phoenix Metro, I think any elevation changes should be mostly neutralized out, just given that we're going a giant loop. But I'll take a look on Teslify after and see if there was any significant elevation change, and I'll be able to tell from there. <laughs> Seven miles remaining at 23%. Uh, I don't know the math on my head or off the top of my head here, but that seems really good. We're definitely beating rated efficiency, as you can see by the dashed line being below the solid line, because the solid line is the rated efficiency, and the dashed line is our actual efficiency. And 255 watt hours per mile is less than the 290 watt hours per mile that this car is rated for. <laughs> destination will be the Phoenix Agua Fria Freeway Supercharger. It's the only one in the Phoenix Metro that's actually a 150 kilowatt charger, so that's nice, and it happened to be kind of the farthest, but still within range. Um, we're just getting crazy good efficiency here, 257 watt hours per mile. Even at 10% charge, is still showing 25 miles of range, so that's well beyond rated range. Showing will arrive to the supercharger with 3%, I'll probably drive around a little bit near the supercharger to get it a little lower, uh, just to have 
that much more of a data point. I figure if I'm driving it all the way down from essentially 100%, I may as well take the little bit extra time and drive it all the way down to have that data and have it be the longest drive on my Teslify history. Down to 4%, still saying arrival with 3%, 9 miles of range remaining with 3.9 miles to go, 268 watt hours per mile. All right, well, we made it. There's the superchargers here. Um, we did pull in at 3%. However, I did some pulls just to drain the battery a little bit and get the temp of the pack up for faster charging. Uh, that's the message we received when we arrived. 0%. Let's see here. So we went 208 miles. I probably could have gotten it over 210 if I tried a little harder and didn't do pulls at the end and actually just drove in circles instead. Um, but... 55.7 kilowatt hours used, 267 watt hours per mile, uh, 208.2 miles in a single drive. Let's just see the trip here. So 280 at the end, you can see where I did some pulls. Still showing we'll have one mile of range. Uh, you can see how I used up some battery at the end. Let's just see some battery stats here. So it's saying that we have four kilowatt hours remaining, which is just a buffer. We're at 0% state of charge. Uh, usable remaining, zero kilowatt hour, usable full pack, 58.4. So it seems maybe a little bit off. That's probably for HVAC and things like that. So this car actually has over a thousand charge cycles, 1014. Uh, and again, 146,000 miles. We did roll over that point, uh, 40,000 miles since I bought this car just under a year ago. So I'll probably hit 42,000 by the time I hit the one year mark. Yeah, let's get plugged in here. plugged in. Let's see what kind of rates we get. Takes a moment for handshake. We are getting some pop-ups, battery very low, heating and AC reduced, as well as uh, cabin overheat disabled, totally normal. Let's see that ramp. Sometimes it slows the ramp when you're at a very, very low state of charge to protect the pack, but it should ramp up still pretty quick here. I'm guessing we'll hit probably 112. Surprise, we're already over 100 kilowatt at 1%, 109. And the reason it's showing an hour and 15 for time remaining, that's actually for if we were to charge to 100% based on my charge limit being set at 100%. There we go, 112. Maybe we'll get 113, 114. Nope. So, so begins the ramp down. We'll see how this charge session goes. But I'm probably just going to charge up enough to get home and then just charge the rest at home.